Hi guys, it's Master Coach Tony Morgan and today's video is on the Valent Ecotech Pro 28. So in this particular problem, what we've got is a fault code called F13. So we're going to discover what F13 is and you're going to learn a little bit more about this Valent Ecotech. So you can see this error code here. So I'm going to reset it. I'm going to press this button here and just watch what happens. Just come straight back on. So that's the fault. So to get access into the boiler, you probably know by now, but I'll just say it anyway. You've got two clips underneath here. You just press them in. That one there and one there. Undo that screw and then the front just lifts it off. We're inside the boiler now. Now I'm just going to give you a bit of history what's happened in this boiler. So it's been leaking, you can see there. And where it's been leaking from, it was leaking from the condensed pipe, which comes off the bottom of the sump here, goes along to the trap there. That had a hole in it, and basically it's just all disintegrated, and the condensed was just going straight down onto the plate heat exchanger. It also went onto here, which is this sensor here, which is connected to the plate heat exchanger. So that F13 is basically this sensor here. So the sensor on the plate heat exchanger is faulty because water was going straight onto it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a resistance check on this thermistor, this sensor and we're going to check what it's supposed to be. Give it reading what it should be, it should be around about 10 to 12 kilo ohms in room temperature. I'm going to just pull this off. It just slides off basically. So that's it here. And then I'm going to disconnect the wires here. So I'll just pull these off like that. And then we're going to check what reading we're getting. So put it there. I've got my multimeter set on homes, so let's see what we're going to get. So you look at the meter, and then I'll check here. So looking at the reading there, it's 17, so it's a bit high, supposed to be about 10. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a new one on, and we'll check what the resistance on that one is. Here's me over sensor I'm going to check this one now so let's go across that one and look at the reading there so you can see that's a lot lower yeah. so we're going to replace it and then see how the boiler behaves 